Hello, hello guys. What is going on? Okay. Welcome. Welcome to a live video. Happy, what day is it? Tuesday? Happy Tuesday. It's Amy with Lily Bean Designs. Hope everybody is having a great day today. Um, if you're joining me, comment and tell me hello and tell me where you're watching from. Um, I see a couple of people hopping on. Hey there in Alabama, um, in Washington State, opposite sides of the country. Awesome. All right. I'm glad. Yes, yeah, someone says they're finally catching a live. I can't see what your name is. Um, you have to click the StreamYard button so I can see what your name is. Hey, Sheila, how are you? Um, hey, everybody. Okay, well, good. I'm so glad that you guys could join me today. Um, hey, Christy, it snowed last night in Washington. Oh, Lord. I was laying out in the sun in my backyard yesterday, if you can believe that. It was 72, I think, yesterday. So it's funny because I told my husband, um, we've never had a pool before, and we have a pool in Louisiana down here. And I said, you know, it's kind of funny because um, we have had days in Virginia, just weird random days when it has been like 72 in January or February. Um, you know, not very often, but every once in a while you those days and it never would have occurred to me to put my bathing suit on and go lay out in the backyard in Virginia during one of those days but because there's a pool I feel like that's acceptable even though I'm not actually getting in the pool so it's really no different you know what I'm saying it's just I don't know I just thought that was kind of funny but yeah I was like you know what I just I just love to feel the sun on me it just feels so good I think it just energizes me you know you get that vitamin d going and it just I don't know it just feels like you close your eyes and you can just think you're on the beach somewhere. Um, there's something about it. So, hey, Penny, how are you? Okay, guys, so we're going to be painting the free file this month, um, which is a sandwich board insert file. And I'll show you an example of the sandwich board all put together if you have no idea what a sandwich board is. Um, that's what I call these interchangeable sets. Um, I know a lot of y'all follow me and you know what I'm talking about already, but if you're new and you're like, what the heck is that? Um, let me show you. So here is one that we did a couple weeks ago. And I still haven't painted the back of my sandwich board. I don't know if y'all saw that. This is the Let's Get Crafty sandwich board set. I'm going to say sandwich board about 50 times in this video. I apologize. Um, so the way that these work is that these inserts pop out. Okay, so you have, this is the actual base um, part of the board. Okay, so as you can see, it's like a little easel. As, I'm sorry, I'm showing my over the camera. It has the side pieces that attach. You do need to glue this together. Okay, so when you when you get this file, you have to glue these pieces together. So you have this front piece, you have the back piece, and you have two of these little pieces on each side that go through here. Make sure that they're not upside down. Make sure they're angled with your board. They don't have to be any particular you know, depth, this one pokes out more than this one on mine just because I didn't center it right. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but anyway. And then I did put a bead of glue along the top here just to kind of give it more support. This piece is so you can reach in here and pop the inserts out, which you really don't even need to do most times because you can just grab the top of it and pop it off. But, um, but this piece glues on to the back of the frame, of the front frame. So you just kind of center it on there. Make sure you're not blocking these little slots. There's plenty of room to not block the little slots that these side pieces go through. Okay. This is designed for quarter inch wood. Okay. So you do need to cut this out of quarter inch wood. Um, I use birch. That's just my wood of choice because that's what I can get down here. Now, so here's the deal, y'all. The, the free file is this insert, but it doesn't come with the backer that I just showed you. So if you don't already own the backer, you do need to purchase that um, because we have all sorts of interchangeable sets that go in the backer, backer, base, whatever you want to call it. Now, they are 30% off um, today and tomorrow if you use code BOARDS, B-O-A-R-D-S, 30, all caps, um, you get 30% off of any of the inserts and the actual base uh, thing that I just showed you that you put all of these in, okay? And then you can get this one for free. And the link to the base and to the free file are in this video description, okay? So you got all your links there. Um, Penny, you're welcome. Yeah, it is a quarter inch. It just provides a little bit more sturdiness. Um, I mean, honestly, 
you could cut it out of eighth inch, but you would need to adjust your slots for eighth inch. They are sized for quarter inch, okay? Um, let's see, do sports themed ones? Yeah, sure, I will add those to the list. Okay, so throw some suggestions out, y'all. So she's saying softball, basketball, volleyball. I had a request yesterday or the day before for a coffee themed file, so I'm working on that one. Um, I do um, love paint volunteers because if I painted every single file that I made, I would never get my files listed, it just takes too long. So if you would like to volunteer, to be a, a file tester and paint this for me, you'd have to, you would have to um, cut it out, paint it, stage it. I need blank and finished photos. Um, and then uh, I would need you to send me a couple pictures of your work because I do need to see um, that you can stage photos and that the lighting is going to work and everything. Because really, it's not, you know, it's not going to work if I if I can't really see it and I don't have a good picture with good lighting and good background. So if you want to do that for me, it's amy at lulubeandesigns.com. Just shoot me an email. I will also post it in my makers group here on Facebook um, if anybody wants to volunteer. And I usually, you know, would love the files turned around in like two or three days if you're able to do that. Um, oh, yeah. Grilling would be very cute. Golf. Yeah, I got you throw your suggestions my way, guys, because I love it. I, I'm always open for suggestions for these. Okay. So now let me give you let me give you one little piece of information here. All right. So if you look at this, these are sunflowers. So obviously um, there are a lot of little circles in this file because they're little sunflower centers. So there was a boo boo in the original file. And I apologize for that. And it has been fixed. And the boo boo was that one of these little circles. OK, so here's a circle. One of the little circles needed to be cut. And I, I'll try to show you up close. Let me lift this piece up. This is the piece that goes on the bottom. Hold on, let me turn this right so that fits. Okay, so hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, let me put it up close here so y'all can see. Let me move it. I'm sorry, the camera is totally backwards for me. I go right, it goes left. It, it makes it very confusing for me to figure out where to put it. Okay, so see how this one has to be cut off right there? Um, because of where this, the circle is next to it. It was not cut off in the original file. It is fixed. So if you purchased, some people have purchased this on Facebook because it is listed on Facebook. Not Facebook, Etsy. I'm sorry, y'all can't talk today. Um, or if you picked it up for free on my website, um, both of those places have been updated. So if you want to go back and download it again, it it's updated. Um, Okay, so yeah, grill, grilling would be really cute. I'm excited about that grilling idea. All right, so let me just get I'm put that circle aside because that one I do not need. So what we're going to do first here is we're going to paint the backer. And I always do these like a chalkboard because that's that's how I envision this when I, you know, designed it. I want these to look like a chalkboard. So we're just going to do some black on here. And as you can see, everything is scored for you. For ease of placement, you can you know, know where to place all your pieces. I'm going to paint this black, and then you're not going to be able to see those score lines on the camera, but I'll still be able to see them, I promise. You can see them if you score them dark enough when you um, cut your, your, you know, your design out. Just make sure that you score it dark enough. I can't tell you the settings just because, you know, every laser is different. Um, I can tell you my settings on my Thunder laser because I don't have my Glowforge down here, y'all. I just have my Thunder laser in Louisiana. Um, I use my, for scoring quarter inch wood, quarter, quarter inch birch, um, I do 500 speed and 30, yeah, 30 power. The wind is whipping outside, you guys. So if you hear um, all of that gusting and everything, and also we have someone who is coming to put gutters on the back of our house today. And my husband, um, he had to go back to Virginia uh, for a few days. And he just informed me of that like an hour ago that the gutter person's coming today. Um, and of course, they're probably going to show up in the middle of my life. Hopefully they won't ring my doorbell. Hopefully they'll just go in the yard and start working. But if you hear banging, that is what that is. It's always that kind of timing. I don't know why. Every time I go live, it seems like somebody is like doing something outside. <laughs> so, um, oh, hunting would be, yeah, that would be cute too. 
Okay, so like I said, I can still see my score lines. You can't, um, so I'll know where to place it. And I'm going to make this, I'm going to scuff this up once it dries and make it look like an erased chalkboard. So we'll be doing that in a few minutes. I'm going to turn on this overhead fan because then it'll make everything dry quicker. All right, we have learned it's very windy down here on the Gulf Coast and our stuff blows around quite a bit. Oh, and you know what? <clears throat> I need to go grab something off the printer real quick. I printed a picture of how I want to paint this, so hold on. One. So if you want to be one of those volunteer painters, um, I will have some new files coming out this week. I'm actually going to be working on files this afternoon. Um, so yeah, so shoot me a message and let me know that you're interested. All right. I am going to paint this love word with one of my Posca pens. We're just going to go ahead because that's going to be covered up anyway. So this color, I use this color all the time and I always tell y'all that it's called P green, like the letter P, but it's not P green. It is aqua, clearly. It is aqua or Tiffany blue, whatever you want to call it. We have a wind advisory starting tomorrow at 4 a.m. in Ohio. Really, a wind advisory. So is that like a hurricane watch? We don't really call them, back in, in Virginia, we didn't call them wind advisories. And I haven't heard that term down here either. Um, we have hurricane watches. No, not, I'm sorry, hurricane. Y'all, what is wrong with me? Tornado watches. <laughs> we do not have hurricane watches. Um, so yeah, hurricane watch or tornado watches, tornado warnings. We have all that, but I've never heard of a wind advisory. I don't think. I could be wrong. Alrighty. And... Some of this I'm going to get away with painting with my paint pens, which is really cool. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do white because y'all know. I might just do white paint. Let me just do white paint on here. I need a paper plate. Paper plate for my paint. All right, we're going to do some white because that'll make our yellow brighter. And I can just go over this little center circle because you're not going to see that. It's going to be covered up by the other piece. So that can just be messy. It's getting covered up anyway. Hello from sunny Florida, Siri. I'm jealous. It's sunny here too, though. Well, it's it's a little, we have like scattered clouds. Not as not full sun like yesterday. But the sun is peeking out today. And it's warm. It's supposed to be like 77. So that is exciting. All right, and this is, what color is this? I'm not telling you what colors. This is Dark Chocolate by Deco Art. Pretty much all my paint is Deco Art. I'll tell you if it's something different. But I love Deco Art paint. And let's see, let's do these two circles in the brown. Comment and tell me if you have a paint preference. What paint do you use? 
And do you paint with brushes, sponges, makeup sponges? What do you paint with? Oh, I'm getting brown. We're using some white again because we're going to do yellow. So this is, think of this as our primer. Our primer under our paint. I'm just grabbing a pen because I'm lazy. It's just easier. Warming up, it's still windy. Uh, they didn't say it was for a tornado, but you never know. I know, I'll tell you. Okay, this is Hauser Light Green. But I mean, the wind is whipping out there. I'm kind of thinking I should have um, moved my patio chairs. I've got some chairs out there that are kind of light. Alrighty, and let's see. Start on this piece here. Oops. I'm gonna paint all my little circles brown. I need a piece of painter's tape. Put all my little circles on. grabbing some little scrap pieces of um, painter's tape that I had in the trash. Um, where did this circle go? Is that, oh, I already painted that one. It was flipped over. All right, these are all brown. Um, you did order the Posca Pens Penny. You will love them. They are fabulous. Oops. a little darker brown than I want actually so I think I might touch those up with just some of the lighter brown y'all might have to let me run out there real quick and save my patio furniture I'm kind of getting worried about it Usually if we have these winds like this, it's during, um, it's at night. Okay. Where did my white, oh, here it is. 
Country chic Rust-Oleum paint pens, anything. Dixie Belle, ooh, Dixie Belle, yeah, I have used that before. My friend Kara with Kinsley's Creative Palette, I believe she sells Dixie Belle if anybody is looking for it. Oops, that needs to be brown. I missed a circle. Still trying to lighten those up some. Can y'all see these? I know they're teeny tiny. I know it's kind of hard to see. My paintbrush was wet. All right, now I'm going to do my truck in that aqua color because I think that would be really pretty. And then I would normally I would do my, um, um, I can't talk today, my circle with a baby wipe and do the cheater method. But I am out of baby wipe, y'all, if you can believe that. So I'm going to use a sponge. Let me just cut this sponge. I think it's a little bit too big for what I need to do. So I think if I use this sponge and some of my dark chocolate, that I'll have a similar effect. But I want to wipe most of it off because I want it to go down into the shiplap lines on here. And I want to be able to see the engraved sunflower market words. I'll show y'all what I mean here in just a minute. I'll show you up close. So, yeah, so I'm just I'm wiping most of this off. You get the same effect with staining. But that way you can see the engraved sunflower market. See what I mean? Like that. All right. And we need some Seabreeze. This is Seabreeze paint for our truck. I don't know why I painted those tires blue. They need to be black. That's okay. We can paint over it. I thought about doing a Valentine project today, but... Even though it's Valentine's Day, well, happy Valentine's Day, everybody, by the way. <laughs> Even though it's Valentine's Day, um, everybody's done with Valentine projects, you know? So I didn't want to 
throw a Valentine file out there at you. Because it's kind of late for that. Okay, and then I've said before how I'm not a fan of some of my fine tip um, Posca pens. Some of them are okay, but I have better luck if I'm using black with just a fine tip black Sharpie. So that's what I'm going to try to use for these um, lines on the truck. And these are scored on here. I think I'd have better luck if I let my paint dry, probably. Yeah, I probably need to let my paint dry. All right, let me do that. Let me let that dry for a few minutes while we are painting other things. Oh, and I did it again, y'all. Painted the wrong color anyway. Let's do the tires in black and let's do the middle of the tires in, um, I'll just use a marker, in um, like white or silver. That will make more sense. All right, let me see how it works with this medium tip for these lines. This might work. Yep, I think we're good. And then we're going to add some white in there for some highlights in a few minutes. All right. Let that dry. And then we'll do the middle of our tires. Um, let's see. Let's do our little sunflowers on here. See how nice and bright the yellow is if you do white under it? And we'll go ahead and do our yellow on some of these other flowers as well. Y'all let me know if you have any questions. Oh, so I finished The Crown. Finished watching The Crown on Netflix. Has anybody watched The Crown? My husband is out of town. So I got to watch that last night without any moaning and groaning. <laughs> 
I got to hog the TV. Um, and I finished Virgin River. Is anybody watching that? I thought the crown was excellent. So, so good. All right, let's do a coat of white on here. Penny, you love Virgin River? Oh, Sheila, I didn't get to, I didn't read the books. I should have read the books before I watched it. I'm not even sure I knew it was a book when I started watching it. I don't think I did. That's always the case, though. The books are always better. You know what I did think, though? I, um, did y'all watch Where the Crawdads Sing? Did y'all go see that? So I thought that they did a very good job on that movie and it was just as good as the book. And it's rare that I think that. I usually think the book is better. So, Sari, I do have shows that I watch for, um, like, while I'm crafting um, that I can just listen to. And I don't feel like I have to constantly watch. The Crown is definitely not one of those shows. Virgin River, maybe, but The Crown I have to really be paying attention to. Like, when I was watching Downton Abbey, I don't know if it's the British accent or it's just the fact that I need to see what they're doing. I don't know. But there are some shows. So sometimes I'll turn on old um, episodes of, like, Gilmore Girls, um, Designing Women. Those are shows that I like to turn on old episodes of while I craft, and I'll just listen to those. Sex in the City. I love turning on Sex in the City episodes and just listening to those. Stuff like that. Um, okay, so you're going to be able to see um, through here. So I'm going to paint the back of this brown as well. I think I need a little more brown paint. Okay, now I think we can start putting some stuff together. I'm still trying to lighten up that brown, y'all. Just wants to look so dark. Oh, did I paint these? I don't think I, I think I need to paint those too. Oh no, these are the oh, those are the middle of the wheels. I forgot that we have those. So they are gonna be white. Good, because I was worried about putting white paint over that black. That was going to be a pain, so I forgot I made these 3D. All right, and then we need to do our letters. And I'm going to do the hay in white, and then I'm going to do the sunshine in the aqua color. Oh, my chip brushes came in, y'all. So exciting. Finally got my chip brushes. I need to order some baby wipes now. I told my husband it's probably a good thing he's not here for a few days for all the Amazon packages that I have coming. Because I haven't really done much decorating down here. And um, I finally ordered some curtains and a bench and some artwork. And y'all know I just love Amazon, so that's where I got most of it from. 
um, sunshine. Hey, sunshine. I'm using that same sponge stick and I'm just going to the um, sea breeze color. Such a bright, fun color. Okay. Now let's get some pieces put together and see how all this looks. All right, now for my sunflowers, I'm gonna take my chip brush and I'm gonna put a little bit of brown paint on it. And I'm gonna get a lot of it off. I want very little paint on there. And I just want my sunflowers to not look so, so yellow. I think they need just a little brown, just to make them look more natural. I think I got too much paint off, off of there. Maybe a little bit. There we go. that and then I'm going to grab another chip brush and that's going to be my white one. And I'm going to just do a very, hold on, let me get more paint off of here. Okay. Um, just a very little bit of white on my flower centers. Well, I'm just kind of doing crisscrosses on them. Just a kind of a, a light little. And I want it to be, you know, not perfect looking, sort of abstract. Like that. On those. And then let me do a little bit on here on our, um, let's see, whoops, that white always does that. Um, no, you know what I think I need on here? On the green, it needs just a little bit of dimension. Let me find, okay, this is medium hauser green. Explain sandwich board. Anything, anything to do with ham or turkey? No, nothing to do with ham or turkey. Unless your your sandwich board is sitting out in front of a um, sandwich shop, I guess. 
that may be where the, the term came from. Okay, so I'm just going over this with a little bit of my medium green, just to kind of give this a little dimension on these leaves. And then we'll do a little bit of white on there as well in a minute. Okay. Oh, and we need to do some yellow on these leaves. Um, my favorite paint brushes. So probably those ones that I picked up at Walmart that have the grippy handles. And it's only because of the grippy handles. Like I don't really have any that I particularly Think the brushes are that much better than others. I just like those grippy handles. I, I do um, I do like those. I can't think of the brand of them though. You know, they're the, well, of course they're the color I like too. They're that like aqua blue color. And then they have the grips. So those are probably my favorite, but these are fine. These are just a cheap set that I got on Amazon. And I feel like they're good too. Like neither one of them shed very much. It's not like I have a lot of, you know, brush hairs flying off. I did buy a set one time that had really long handles. And oddly enough, I like those just because of the handle. <laughs> I don't know why I like those long handles. All right, I'm going to put this piece together first and my glue. Oh, you know what? This actually needs a little bit with that darker green as well. Cinco de Mayo would be super cute for me. Oh, that would be a fun one to do. That would be super fun. I'm going to have to put that on the list for sure. What about the sugar skulls? I don't know about, I'm not familiar with that. Is it, the, is it the day of the dead? Is that what it's called? Am I doing it right? Dia de los muertos, am I saying that right? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? I could totally be messing that up and I don't mean to offend anyone if I am, but I, I think that's what that's called and I think that would be really cute too. Oh, I do, Leisha, I do have a graduation one, um, yeah, on my list, for sure. Stay put. All right. Which of these? I hope I'm getting the right ones. I think it's these. Yep. Okay, so there's my little sunflower market sign. So fun. And I want to scuff these tires up just a little bit in that window. All my letters are sticking to my table. Um, okay, my tires.
All right, let me figure out which way this goes before I commit with glue. And I saw someone do this where they turned the sunflower like, so it was in between the, the backer and that was kind of cute. The only thing is that's not gonna work with your, um, your little cut off tire piece down here necessarily. That's the only thing about that. So if you wanna just paint those instead of using these little cutout pieces, that would work. Um, Let's see. Oh, you know what? I needed to paint around these flowers. I was thinking that they were like extra pieces. So let's paint those. Trying to fix this line on here, y'all. On this truck. Um, farmer's market. Yep, yeah, farmer's market would be cute. Now, when you say farmer's market, do you mean... Um, Where's my black pen? Do you mean a flower market or veggie market? Like what, what should I put in the flower market? Fruits and veggies, flowers. Cause they have flower markets with all of that kind of mixed in together. Eggs, all kinds of things. And I like to turn this a little bit so it's kind of like catty cornered here. I think that looks cute. I probably should have painted that first. Hold on. That little edge there. And I don't think I'm going to scuff these up with brown because I think I'm going to end up making a mess on my truck. So I'm going to just leave these yellow. I think they will be just fine. All right. So this one needs a little bit of white. Okay, so there's that piece. And you know what? I could probably put a little bit of white in this truck. Just some little. Okay, yeah, just like that to kind of make it not quite look so perfect. So yeah, there's our little bottom piece. Can I really make my, there you go, so y'all can see more at one time. Ah, oh, backwards, it's backwards to me. It drives me crazy. 
Thank you, Christy. Veggies, flowers, stands, wagons, snow cones, eggs, honey. Oh my goodness gracious, Sheila. Yes, so many things. But you know what you just gave me an idea for also? Honey, for like a honeybee uh, interchangeable set. How cute would that be? Gosh, I'm going to be up all night, y'all, designing files. <laughs> oh, um, these leaves, I feel like they need a little something, something. Y'all, seriously. I got to go check on my patio furniture. It's not even funny. The wind. Okay, hold on. Black first. Little dots and squiggles and things. All right, this one turns this way. Because it's kind of cut out for the other one. If y'all can see what I mean. And... Just like that. All right, so we've got all our pieces here. We've made a big old mess, but that's what we're supposed to do, right? Because we're crafting. All right, where's my backer? And my white chip brush. Just like that, easy peasy. Makes it look like a chalkboard that was not erased very well. All right, so all we have to do now is put everything together. Now these pieces are gonna hang off of here. That is what it's supposed to look like. Because when they lay on the sandwich board, they're supposed to kind of pop up. So put your glue on the board, not the pieces. So you don't end up with like glue where you don't need glue. Penny, this is called Star, Star Bond. Um, you get it on Amazon. I prefer the thick because it doesn't run, but I couldn't find the thick, so I got the medium. Um, Christy, your daughter-in-law loves sunflowers. Yes, please, I'd love to see pics. Hey, Sherry, how are you? Oh, Sheila, yes, butterflies. That's a cute idea too. Let me do my letters before I do the bottom. And then I have to go see if my patio furniture is in my pool or in the bayou. <laughs> Let's hope it's not in the bayou. I can fish it out of the pool. But not the bayou. My neighbors would argue because they're not afraid of the alligators. Yes, I know alligators are hibernating right now. That does not make it okay for me to get into the water. <laughs> I was not raised in Louisiana. I do have a fear of alligators.
All right, and then our bottom piece here. And again, I can see these score lines. I know y'all probably can't, but that will make sure if you line them up with your score lines that you won't have any issues with um, the stuff blocking the slots on the backer. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry. Um, Y'all can see it all done there, but I'm gonna let it dry before I actually try to pop it in and out of my sandwich board. But I will take a picture of it when I'm all done so y'all can see. Um, you're welcome, Penny. Um, but yeah, I'll get a picture of this and I'll do like a little video, like popping a couple of different ones in and out so y'all can see what they look like. But this one is free for the month of February. So you just need to hop over there. The link is in the video description. Go grab it. Um, I will be posting a new free file at the beginning of March. So be sure to get this one while it's free um, for February. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you in the next one, which should be on Thursday. We're going to be doing uh, $3 Thursday. So I have some files that you can grab for $3 each on that day. And I'll be painting one of those. All right. Thanks so much. I will see y'all later. Bye.